What's happening below deck? Cristiano Ronaldo appears to miss the real action as naked couple sail by his superyacht amid holiday with Georgina Rodriguez. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya, hope your day is so well, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Cristiano Ronaldo appeared to miss out on the real action during a trip on his superyacht in France with Georgina Rodriguez on Thursday. The pair couldn't keep their hands off each other, as the footballer, 39, was seen cheekily placing a hand on the model's bottom before going in for a kiss. And while they were packing on the ptah, a couple who were completely naked sailed past on their boat. The man and woman were putting on a very cozy display during the cheeky nude outing, while Georgina and Ronaldo appeared to be distracted. The couple, who were recently in Venice for the film festival, were taking pictures on their mobile phones as they continued to enjoy their luxurious getaway. The pair stood on the deck of the boat as they debated going in for a swim, they showcased their incredible physique while soaking in the rays. Georgina looked sensational as she flaunted her enviable hourglass figure in a red thong bikini. The wag scraped her brunette locks back into a low bun before adding a pair of stylish shades and a pearl necklace to her look. Cristiano, meanwhile, displayed his chiseled abs as he went shirtless in a pair of simple black swimming trunks. The couple who have recently sparked marriage rumors have been holidaying on their luxury yacht around France. After chatting on the deck, the sports star performed a sensational dive and flip into the sea, while Georgina was seen using the steps. After their swim, Cristiano was seen wrapping up in a towel as the couple dried off. While the couple have been holidaying with their five children, they were not seen on the yacht, suggesting the couple were enjoying a romantic day out. It could even have been a honeymoon as rumors have been swirling that the pair have secretly married. Georgina landed in Venice via private jet on Tuesday, ahead of her appearance at the Venice Film Festival. The model put on a glamorous display as she walked the red carpet for the 20th anniversary of Diva Idana on Wednesday. Georgina and Rodriguez have been dating since 2016 and they have two children together. She is also the stepmother of his other three children. They set tongues wagging last month when, in a game of Mr. and Mrs. on his new YouTube channel, Ronaldo referred to Georgina as his wife. The pair also appeared to both be wearing wedding rings in the video. They have not previously gone public with any marriage ceremony or commented on the rumors. Georgina and Cristiano famously met while she was working as a retail assistant in Madrid, as they caught eyes across the rails in a Gucci store in 2016. In 2020, she admitted that the chance meeting with Ronaldo made her fall in love at first sight. She claimed that the feeling was mutual following their encounter, as she revealed in a recent interview with Italy's Elle magazine. Georgina said, The first meeting with Ronaldo was at Guffsi where I worked as a sales assistant. Days later we saw each other again at another brand's event. It was then we could talk in a relaxed atmosphere, outside of my work environment. It was love at first sight for both. Since meeting, Georgina has followed five-time Ballon d'Or winner Ronaldo from Madrid to Turin to Manchester and now Al Nasser. Ronaldo's oldest son Cristiano Jr. was born in the United States in 2010, but immediately taken back to Madrid to be raised in Spain. The identity of his mother is unknown. In June 2017, the then Real Madrid star surprised fans with the news he'd welcomed twins Eva and Matteo through a surrogate. And just one month later he and Georgina announced they were expecting their first child together. The couple welcomed daughter Alana in November that year. In October 2021, the pair revealed they were expecting twins, gushing that the pair's hearts are full of love. Tragically, in April 2022, the couple revealed there had been complications during the birth and their baby boy died during childbirth. In a heartbreaking statement, they shared their daughter Bella was the one thing giving them strength at the time. Ronaldo has in the past claimed he wants to take his tally of children to seven, matching his notorious shirt number and lifestyle brand CR7. 
Speaking during an interview in China in July 2017, when he had just three kids and had been dating Georgina for around a year, he was quoted by Portuguese daily Correio de Manha as saying, My eldest Cristiano is very happy. He's doing well and says he wants more brothers and sisters. He wants seven, the magic number, and I think that's good. Ronaldo is currently playing in Saudi Arabia with Al Nasser, but despite being tipped to prolong his career for several more years, appears to be winding down his career. He confirmed during Euro 2024 that it would be his last European championship. The favorites for this year's award illustrate a shift towards the younger generation who are making their mark in the most competitive environments. Players like Vinicius Jr., Erling Haaland, and Kylian Bapp, all active in top European leagues, reflect this changing of the guard. As the football world looks towards the upcoming Ballon d'Or ceremony on October 28 in Paris, the discussion around the criteria for nominations and the evolving nature of the sport continues. Meanwhile, Ronaldo and Messi, with their legacies firmly established, may now focus on contributing to their teams and mentoring the next generation, even if their own chances of adding to their Ballon d'Or tally seem to be waning. Lionel Messi Ballon d'Or snub is ridiculous Inter Miami and Argentina magician, a clear victim of Golden Ball's European bias after NLS transfer. The Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo era is officially over. For the first time since 2003, neither man has been nominated for the Ballon d'Or. They have shared 13 golden balls between them over the past 16 years, but barring an unlikely turn of events, will probably never be back on football's most prestigious individual stage. This is the moment most footballing purists have been dreading for some time. Both players have transcended the sport with their unique talent and longevity at the very highest level. What they have achieved may never be matched, which is why a period of mourning is inevitable as Messi and Ronaldo wind down their respective careers. But in Messi's case, it has come too soon because the Argentine forward has shown he remains a master of his craft for club and country over the past 12 months. Yes, at the grand old age of 37, he has slowed down a bit, but it is ridiculous that he has not been recognized as one of the 30 best players on the planet. There is only one explanation. Messi has been penalized for moving to Inter Miami. MLS is considered inferior to Europe's top five leagues, so he no longer figures into the thinking of Ballon d'Or organizers France football. Messi's powers haven't gone. He's simply a victim of the award's clear European bias and deserves far better after giving so much to the beautiful game.